Hey everyone, so in this video, I wanted to do a review of the City Custom Cash credit card. Now this is a very popular no annual fee card that I've talked about before here on the channel, and I even included it on my list of the best credit cards available right now. But I still have not done a full review of the City Custom Cash, because if you wanna use it the right way to get the most out of it, then there really are a few important things that you should be considering. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already to help support the channel. But as always, let's just get right into the video. Now the City Custom Cash Card, like I said, has no annual fee, which means that if you know how to use credit cards responsibly, then there's a very good chance that by getting this credit card, it could be a good fit for you because it costs nothing to hold. But the best feature about this credit card, in my opinion, is the unique way that it earns 5% back compared to some other similar 5% back cards. So let's start off this video by first talking about that feature. Now the way that this works is the City Custom Cash will earn 5% back in your highest eligible spend category each billing cycle on the first $500 of spending. After spending that first $500 in your highest spend category each billing cycle, then any amounts above $500 that you still spend in that highest category, you'll go down to earning 1% back. And outside of that, you'll also earn a standard unlimited 1% back on all other purchases. Now there's basically two ways that you can take advantage of this credit card and that solid earning potential to really earn some good cash back. And I'm going to go over what those two ways are in just a minute here. But for First, let's list out what those eligible categories are where you can actually earn that 5% back. Those categories are restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, select transit, select streaming services, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, and live entertainment. Now these are just the categories as of the filming of this video in March of 2022. So if you happen to be watching this video at some point much further in the future, then go ahead and just double check to see what the categories are just in case there's any changes. Also, it's important to mention that you'll actually be earning city thank you points instead of true cash back with the city custom cash, but those points can easily be converted into cash back. So you'll be earning five thank you points per dollar in that highest spend category on your first $500 of spending each billing cycle, then one thank you point per dollar in that highest spend category for any amounts over $500. And outside of that, it's also one thank you point per dollar on all other purchases. Then those thank you points can easily be redeemed for cash back at a value of one cent per point. So to keep things simple here, 5x points back and 5% cash back are the exact same thing with this city card. But let me quickly show you what I mean here with an example. If you manage to spend $500 on groceries in one billing cycle with the city custom cash, and that just happened to be your highest single spending category out of those 10 categories that I mentioned, then you would earn 5x thank you points per dollar on that or 2,500 points. And because those points can easily be redeemed for cash back at a value of one cent per point, those 20 2,500 points are equal to $25 of cash back. $25 is 5% of that $500 of grocery spending that we did in this example, which just goes to show that earning 5X points is equal to 5% cash back when you do the math here. Now, alternatively, those city thank you points could also be combined with another more premium city credit card like the City Premier, where you could potentially get more than one cent per point in value from those points by redeeming those for certain types of travel. But that's going to be a little bit too much information for this video. So let me know down in the comment section below if you wanna see a future video where I go into more detail about a city credit card setup. So for the rest of this video, let's just assume that whatever points that you earn on the city custom cash card are just going to be redeemed for cash back at a value of one cent per point, just to keep things simple and easy to follow. Now, before we go over some of the additional features of this credit card, let's go over some of the fun stuff with how you can strategically use the city custom cash in your own wallet setup and how I plan to use this card when I potentially get it later on in 2022. All right, so the first way that you could use the City Custom Cash is probably the way that City wants its cardholders to use this card in the first place, and that is just using the Custom Cash across all different types of categories for various types of spending across the board. Their main selling point for the Custom Cash and why it's potentially better than another similar 5% cash back card like the Chase Freedom Flex is that with a card like the Chase Freedom Flex, that is going to earn 5% back in rotating quarterly categories but those categories are going to be predetermined by Chase, so you don't have any say in that as the card holder. Whereas with the City Custom Cash, you at least have the adaptability of this card, so you can use it across different spending categories without even thinking. Then City is automatically going to apply that 5% cash back to whatever category was the highest. So, ironically, I like to say that the City Custom Cash card is actually more flexible than the Chase Freedom Flex because of this. So, what you might do, especially if you do not like to have too many credit cards at once, 
wants is you might just use the city custom cash naturally within your everyday spending habits without worrying about which category is earning more points than others and what card you should be using in each category. Then automatically with each billing cycle, city is going to see where you're spending your money and what categories you're spending the most money in. It'll then go ahead and apply that 5% back to whatever category was highest out of those 10 categories like I talked about before. For many people, I could see this highest spend category often being grocery stores or restaurants. So actually this might be a good contender as a very food focused credit card if you use it that way. But maybe one month you realize that you need to do some sort of a project on your house or something like that. Well, you could just pull out the city custom cash card and use it at home improvement stores where that is going to be one of those 10 eligible categories. Then if that is your highest spend category in that billing cycle, you can get 5% back on home improvement store purchases. So as you can see, if you want to use the city custom cash card the easy way that doesn't require much thought or planning, then I can definitely see the benefits of using this credit card because of the adaptability that it has. You'll earn 5% back in your one highest spending category with each billing cycle on up to $500 of spending and then 1% back on everything else, which is pretty good. So in reality, if you use the custom cash card this way by using it to spend within several different categories during one billing cycle, then the true return on spend that you're going to get from this credit card is going to be more of a blended amount that's between one to 5%, again, depending on how much you use this card and in what categories you use it for. But since I always talk about how to maximize the value that we can get from credit cards here on this channel, there is one other way to strategically use the city custom cash card that I think is best. And it's the way that I plan to use this card when I get it in the future. So that way is to use this credit card as a dedicated 5% back card that I will plan out and only use each billing cycle in one of those 10 categories and nothing else. For example, right now, I know that I can consistently and effectively earn at least 5% back on groceries, restaurants, and travel with all the other credit cards that I have in my wallet. But right now, I do not have any other credit cards that earn any more than 2% back on gas. So because gas stations are one of those 10 categories that'll earn 5% back on the city custom cash card, I would consider getting this credit card to use it exclusively for my gas purchases. That way I'm basically getting a 5% discount on my gas purchases, which is not a bad deal considering how expensive gas has been getting lately. Now, truthfully, I don't really drive too much. So I'm only filling up my gas tank in my car about once per month. And it's only costing me maybe $60 or so. That means that I'm not really coming anywhere close to that $500 spending limit for my highest spend category during each billing cycle to get 5% back on this custom cash card. But still, I like to optimize my spending with credit cards as much as possible. So this could be a good option for me to look into. And plus, if at any time during any billing cycle, I decide that one of those other 10 categories makes more sense for me and my situation to get 5% back there, then I can always make that change if I want to. I don't really see the point in getting 1% back on anything that's outside of that top spend category where I'm getting 5% back because there's so many other great credit cards out there that'll earn more than 1% back in many different categories. So that would be my strategy here with the city custom cash. All right, now there's really going to be two more general credit card considerations that I believe are very important to think about as well here. But first, let's finish up going over just a few more things to know about the custom cash. First, City is usually offering a pretty decent welcome bonus for this credit card after you reach a certain minimum spend requirement. Right now, as of the filming of this video in March of 2022, City is offering new card holders 20,000 thank you points, which is equal to $200 of cash back after spending $750 on this card within the first three months of account opening. Again, this is only the current offer that I'm seeing right now as this video is being posted and that offer may vary over time. But if you wanna learn more about this credit card, then you can always just check out the link that I'll have down in the description below. Other features and benefits on the city custom cash are pretty standard, such as $0 liability for unauthorized charges and 24 seven customer support. The one downside to the custom cash is that there is a 3% foreign transaction fee. This is something that's pretty common on a lot of no annual fee credit cards. So if you're going to be traveling internationally quite a bit, then I would suggest finding another credit card to take with you instead of this one. Okay, now that we've gone over the majority of things that you need to know about the city custom cash, the nice features that it has, and the different ways that certain people might use this credit card. Finally, let's go over the last two things that you need to consider. So first, I always like to bring up the Chase 524 rule as something to consider before getting a credit card like the City Custom Cash. And this is actually the main reason why I do not have this credit card just yet. Now, the Chase 524 rule is one of the most well-known things within the credit card world. But just in case you're not familiar with this rule, the 524 rule simply says that if you've opened five or more personal credit card accounts across all issuers 
within the last 24 months, you will automatically be denied for a new Chase credit card. So why does a Chase rule apply to a city credit card? Well, it actually doesn't, but it does factor in if you're like me and you're trying to get the most value out of all credit cards. It really comes down to opportunity costs, which is something that I've talked a lot about here on this channel. That is the cost of choosing one option over another and potentially missing out on some sort of value. Chase has a lot of great credit cards that I do not want to miss out on getting. So because I am currently under the Chase 524 rule right now and can get approved for new Chase credit cards, that is going to be where I'm focusing my attention at the moment. After I'm done getting the Chase credit cards that I want and I'm back above the 524 rule, then I can start getting credit cards from other issuers like Citi. So if you plan to maximize credit card value like me, if you're under the Chase 524 rule and you're considering getting Chase credit cards in the near future, then I think it's best to focus on those Chase credit cards first. But if you're over 524 and you're not trying to get back under it anytime soon, or if you're just looking for a great credit card that you can use in an everyday setup, then you might be in a better position to take a look at the City Custom Cash card if you're interested. Now, the second and final important thing that I believe should be considered here is actually going to be your approach to credit card welcome bonuses in general. So what I mean by this is if you're somebody that's getting new credit cards pretty consistently, usually those new credit cards are going to come with welcome bonuses and welcome bonuses are actually where you're going to find the most value from credit cards, not from your everyday spending that you do with them. And with welcome bonuses, most of the time, there's going to be some sort of a minimum spend requirement that you need to reach first before you get that bonus. If you do the math, your return on spend from a welcome bonus based on a minimum spend requirement is actually going to be much, much higher than whatever you can earn on an individual credit card from its everyday spending. So if we look at the city custom cash, at most, you're going to earn 5% back in your highest spend category each billing cycle. But with another credit card where you might be working towards getting a welcome bonus, your return on spend with that card is probably going to be a lot higher. So as another quick example, let's say that you could get a credit card with a 50,000 point welcome bonus worth $500 after spending $3,000 on that card in the first four months. When you do the math, that is a 16.67% return on spend during that period as you reach that minimum spend requirement. And of course, that is much better than the 5% at most that a card like the custom cash can earn. As you can see, if we were to just rinse and repeat this whole process several times per year by getting new credit cards, then putting all of our purchases on that card to reach a minimum spend requirement and get a welcome bonus, we would be able to generate a very high return on spend on all purchases in this way. Now this applies when we're comparing new credit cards with welcome bonuses to any other credit cards that we might already have in our wallet. So I'm not trying to single out the custom cash card by any means here, but it is something that's important to consider because my main point is that if you plan to get several new credit cards each year for new welcome bonuses, then you might not use the city custom cash as much as you thought you would. And the custom cash really is a great card to use. 5% back in your highest spend category is very valuable. So if you're the type of person that might not get too many new credit cards, then adding the city custom cash to your wallet could be a very good idea. Or if you're just looking to combine the thank you points that this card earns with another city card, then adding the custom cash to your wallet can be a good idea too. Just take into consideration some of the things that we talked about here in this video, but overall as a 5% cashback card that earns 5% back in your highest eligible spend category, the city custom cash as a no annual fee credit card is really a great option for almost anybody out there in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to go ahead and tap the like button down below and consider subscribing as well to help support this channel. And again, feel free to go ahead and check out the link down below to learn more about the City Custom Cash. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.